Hello everyone, this is Dinesh Krishnan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send object to the active MQ by using what in a camel framework. In our previous tutorial, yes, of course, we sent for in file to the active MQ. But this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send object as well to the active MQ server. Let's do that. I'm going to create a new class in the same package called object to active MQ. So now, let me actually take you know some piece of code from here. We'll reuse the same code. So let me create the main method. Let's copy paste the code. Let's do it. Declaration. So what we are doing it here? We created the camel context. We got the connection factory. Now we added the router. So we have to do slight modification in the router. Okay, so in this case, previously we sent the message that nothing but you know we send with the file. The file actually comes to this folder. The same file would be sent to what you know active MQ. That was the previous example. In this example, we are going to send the object to that start. So we are going to send the object via the producer template to this endpoint. As soon as this endpoint get the object, it will transfer the same object to what you know that active MQ. So to produce a template equal to context dot produce a template. Produce a template dot sent body. So the second method which takes endpoint and then object as a parameter. I'm gonna say the same endpoint is derived dot start. What is the object that I'm going to pass? You can pass your custom object or else you know you can pass any object you want. Okay, so as of now, I'm actually passing what you know date object. It's a symbol. Let me import this date object. I'm going to use the date one which from Java Tutorial package. Okay, of course we have to start the camel context. Context. Context dot start. Okay. Now we have a producer template. The producer template will send this date to what with this endpoint. As soon as this endpoint receives any object, the same object will be sent to what you know the active MQ. So let, let, let's run this example. We'll see what's going to happen. So before that, you can see we have an active MQ. So as of now, that has what you know only one message which we sent you know previously. That is nothing but a file. You can go and check it here. We have only file, right? So I'm going to run this example. So this example actually going to send the data object to this endpoint. Let me run this. Now our context is started, and then probably it would have sent the uh, you know object to this endpoint. So that would have sent to what you know uh, the active MQ. So just go to the active MQ server. Just refresh this. You can see what you know this is increased as two. Just click to your in, click to the queue. So here, if you go and look inside, you can see whatever data object we sent, the same actually received in the active MQ. So that's how we know we can send object, any object from, you know, I mean, a camel to, you can send to what, you know, active MQ. Thanks for watching.